Hi, welcome to WatchMojo.com. I'm your host, Layla. Today I get the opportunity to talk to prize-winning author Meg Rosoff to talk about her career in writing and a little bit about her latest coming-of-age novel, What I Was. What's, I guess, the love story in What I Was? It's quite an abstract love story in, in a way. I mean, it's about two boys, um, one of whom is at boarding school in England in 1962. Um, the other of whom has kind of slipped through the cracks of society and lives by himself in a fisherman's hut. Something sort of happens between them. It's an, an attraction of opposites. It's not necessarily a sexual relationship, um, but there's an incredibly strong connection. Do you think that, um, that these are issues that teenagers are facing today? The more you talk about the edges of things, the better. Um, and a lot of stuff, a lot of life happens at the edges. And, you know, the, the classic thing when I was growing up was that you felt like a freak because nobody else thought the same way you did. Um, and it's just rubbish, you know. I mean, no matter how kind of weird and twisted you are, uh, you, you're not alone, really. Maybe you want to tell us where you, when you started thinking about this idea for what I was and why, where you got inspired for it? I read an article. Um, in uh, the Guardian in London um, about a guy who uh, lived in my neighborhood in North London and he had just died he, in his 60s. He had been abandoned by his mother when he was two or three years old, um, literally on the side of the road, I think, and picked up at some point by gypsies or travelers. Um, he'd spent time in boys' homes. Um, and he'd always lived on the outside of society and he didn't he didn't know exactly how old he was, didn't know what his birth date was, um, never had a national health number, never had a credit card obviously. And I just found it completely amazing that somebody, you know, 10 years older than I am could be living at the same time I was living um, and just have nothing that connected him to the modern world. And then, you know, it sort of starts to, you start out with an idea like that and it starts to tie in with all sorts of other ideas that you've had, you know, about uh, other things. And before you know it, you have a book, yeah. if you're lucky. Thank you very much for your time, I appreciate it. Okay, no thanks, <laughs> thank you.